Happy December 3rd, everyone. Today is December 3rd. <laughs> it's like 3 o'clock, um, but for today's little segment, I don't know if this is... <coughs> Ew! Wow! I don't know if this is going to go with another vlog or not. Probably with another vlog because today's a very boring day. Um, it's really late. Like I was just saying, like, I got up kind of really late today. I got up at like... 10 something to do um, my therapy appointment and then I went back to bed for like an hour, woke up, called someone for an hour, um, kind of laid back down for like another like 20 minutes, went downstairs, got some coffee, um, and now I'm here. So um, it's kind of a, and I really want to like lay back down, it's kind of like a weird day um but i wanted to be super real with you guys um today is actually one of those days where you start it and you just want it to be the next day already because it, it like sucks <laughs> um like i always try to see like the positive and everything and i was actually talking to that about my therapist this morning i was like i really am that person that tries to see the positive and everything and um sometimes people don't like when i do that like sometimes people are like listen i just want you to listen to me talk right now um and I don't really like burdening people, so I'm going to be here, and I'm just literally going to talk about how I feel this morning, um, which is weird for me to just, like, be super vulnerable and real, like, on camera and not know who's going to see this or not. Um, but today is really difficult. Um, I am, like, that type of person that, I mean, you don't have to watch this. You can totally skip past this part, but this is just me being, like, listen, today is a hard day, and just, like, um, I really just want to, like, talk and, um, I don't care if no one listens to it, really. Um, I'm the type of person that is, like, super uh, weird about, like, um, my future. And, like, I like to know, like, what's coming and, like, what's going to be planned. And um, I also get these really weird, it's like a sixth sense kind of thing, I feel like. These weird gut feelings about things. Like, I remember, like, when I was in 10th grade year, I got this gut feeling. I was, like, I walked into geometry class and I was, like, I am not going to be in this class um, for a long time. I was like, I'm not going to be in this school for a long time. Like, I just don't even see myself graduating. Like, this doesn't feel right. Like, I'm not supposed to be here. And I remember, like, two months later, just, like, my doctor being like, listen, you need to be homeschooled. Um, it's, like, the smart option. And so I didn't go back. Um, and then I remember um, with, like, our old church, I remember being like, this isn't going to be my church forever. I was like, something better is going to happen. And then I remember... That church ended, and then all of a sudden, like, a couple of years later, my uncle got the role at this new church to be the pastor, and not, like, role, but, like, he fulfilled the old pastor's job, and then now we've, like, started our own church, like, through that church, and, like, merging, and all this stuff, like, it's crazy, like, things have been just, like, changing, and I don't know, there's, like, little times where I've been, like, like oh, this person's going through something, like, or this person's, like, I don't know, like, this person, something bad is happening to this person right now, and then they'll be like, oh my gosh, guys, I just had the worst day. Like, stuff like that, I don't know why, but I don't know if it's, like, really a gift or really even what to call it because it's, like, it's like creepy to me um, that that, like, happens with me. Um, but I woke up this morning, and I was like, today's just going to be a weird day. Like, I just knew it. I was like, today's a weird day. Um, I don't know what's going on, but... It's a weird day, and I woke up, and yeah. Um, so basically, I was right. <laughs> Today is a weird day. Um, but I get these weird gut feelings, like I was saying, and one of my gut feelings is like, I am not going to find like a husband. And I know that sounds crazy. Like You're probably listening to this, and you're like, what is wrong with you? Or you're one of my friends, and you're like, oh, this again. Like It's, it's very strange, but like, Hold on, I want to sip. My dream is to like find a husband who loves Jesus so much, like, like this. Jesus is king. Like he puts Jesus in the center of everything. He puts Jesus at the center of every situation. He leads me in my faith. He wants a family. Um, we go to church every Sunday. We do Bible studies together. Um, and also like we just have like fun and we do like goofy stuff. Like that's like what I like love and search for. And um, I trust God and His plan. Um, and I don't think God, God's plan would be for me to be alone for my life. So that's what I'm trying to like grasp is like, Allie, this isn't your gut feeling. Like this feeling that you're getting right now is just like low self-esteem and also just like trauma. 
um, because um, I'll be like completely honest with you guys and I've not like shared this but I went through a really bad situation with a guy um, my family doesn't really know anything so my family if you're watching just please respect uh, this is probably as much as I'll open up about it because I just don't really want to talk about it anymore I'm already past it um, but um, there is like that trauma that's still up in the air that I'm working through with like in therapy and stuff like that um, but I did go through a really bad situation with a guy and my trust issues are very prominent and also um, just like being super honest is like a huge thing for me because I don't want to be manipulated and I also don't want to grow an attachment for someone and then someone just be like I actually really don't care I'm just like using you because um, that's like something that was like very real for me and um, it's hard to just like distinguish um, but I do have like a very caring heart and I'm not like boasting that's just me saying like that's like a blessing and a curse like it's a curse in a way that like I will attach myself to someone so fast like I'll be like oh my gosh like you're awesome like I like literally could see myself like being with you um, but I don't get my hopes up I'm just like Allie like chill <laughs> um, we don't like I don't know God's plan and it could just be someone's just in your life for a little bit and then they leave like um and I believe that people teach you those lessons and that's kind of what I'm going through right now um I met someone who was it wasn't easy for us to have any kind of relationship um I won't like get into like the specifics or anything um but it was difficult but he's really faithful and he's a really really um good person um and also he you know he believes in God and he like would give me like biblical um, advice and things like that and he would listen to me and things like that like that's the stuff that I look for and but also it's like goofy like like loves to have fun and like just like be silly and stuff like that and that is like something that like those are like qualities that I'm just like wow like I love those qualities um, so when God decides to remove someone from your life which is what happened today um, it's hard for me to just be like okay God um, you put someone in my life that was literally everything that I was looking for and took them out for why. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's difficult for me to actually just, like, understand and just, um, comprehend it. But, um, I also, then I have to be like, well, there was something, like, one big issue. And, um, yeah, it could, it could, it is something that we could figure out, um, because I do believe that God does, like, sometimes put, like, little challenges to see like what you'll do um um and if you'll keep trusting in his plan and like no like listen like there is a way like you can make a way but you know if someone isn't feeling the same way then um you just need to figure it out and just cut it off and um I think that's kind of like what happened today um and it is really hard for me just because I do grow like so much love and care for someone and when it's cut off it's hard for me to just be like okay um it's like a process for me like I have to um, gather myself back up and just like be like listen like you you have to, I, I gotta keep trusting God like I have to keep trusting his plan and so I have to trust and I don't know who needed to hear that today I don't know if anyone did anyone's listening to this and was like I did need to hear that like God does have plans for you and um, if you're struggling right now just know that like I am too um, <laughs> And it's really hard. Um, it does suck, um, especially when your mind is telling you like you're never gonna have this, and then something in your life starts to come, and then you're like, oh my gosh, maybe I will, and then it's taken away from you, and you're like, oh, great, back to square one. Like I, maybe I'm not supposed to. Maybe that's why this keeps happening to me, and that's how I feel. But biblically, I know that's not true. God does amazing things, and He's going to uh, bless the situation and bring you so many great things. Um, from it and you don't know what it's gonna be like um, but it is really hard so I'm just like sitting here kind of like preaching <laughs> um, to anyone who maybe needs to hear it but also to myself and just like opening up about what's been going on and um, if I am just like kind of a little more distant or um, maybe not even distant but just like not as like woo like for these next couple days um, it's just I am like catching myself up with just like knowing that this is this is God's plan and uh it's
freaking hard for me to just be like, okay, um, when I like had so much care uh, for a certain person in a certain situation and just um, me trying to like feel like I need to fix everything and heal people um, and like push them in their faith and stuff like that. But also I'm like the stumbling block too because um, I'll do it like whatever, almost, not whatever, but almost whatever it takes to make someone happy. So it's that then, then I also just like lose faith a little bit because I'll, or not lose faith, but just like be like, hold on God, like this, they want this from me. So just like, let me do this and then I'll come back. Um, I can't do that. And you can't either, if you're listening to this, you have to make those sacrifices um, for these worldly things, about these worldly things to bring glory to God. And that's Kind of the situation that I'm in and I also know just like I think that's just something that other people might be going through too um stuff I kind of like learned this morning about myself when I was talking on the phone so that was really long uh I don't know if anyone listened to that but uh today's gonna be a good day um I do feel like going back to bed for a little bit to be honest because it's gloomy as frick outside and I just want to like literally like lay down and sleep um, but I'm gonna try to shut the blinds to not see how gross it looks outside. Um, I'm gonna like maybe like turn on like a feel good movie. Um, gotta like clean. I gotta put my laundry away. So I'm just gonna do things to distract myself. All right, new segment of the vlog. Something that like has been requested by a couple people um, was doing like an updated Q and A and stuff. So I might like do them like dispersed throughout December uh, just so I can like I don't know like I'm, I'm gaining subscribers still but a lot of it's just because of the yoga challenges so I would really love like if I got my platform to something where like people would actually watch like other things too so um, I'm gonna let you guys know a little bit about me and uh, this is gonna be my first little Q&A session first question that I got asked a lot is what is the perfect job for you like what do I really like want for like what's my perfect job and my perfect job is to be a writer like just be an author who can travel and write uh novels and travel and write short stories and travel and write and travel and write and travel and write that's like something that is so sounds so amazing for me um but um it's not completely 100 percent. just like all right got it like it's something that actually is like really hard to obtain but that is the perfect job so most people said like what's the perfect relationship for you and I kind of touched on this um, about like what happened um, but the perfect relationship for me is finding someone who puts me um, like who thinks about me and uh, puts Jesus first in every situation and um, is good at advice and gives me um, I don't know is just willing to help me whenever things are tough and is willing to be patient with me but also someone who I can do the same for and someone who I feel um, the same of doing too and also perfect relationship would be like that honeymoon phase um, would last forever but since it's not a perfect world my ideal is that after that honeymoon phase is over that we would like our love would even be stronger and we would be really good at communicating someone who's respectful and loyal um, obviously I really want a Christian man um, someone who's not petty someone who has a good sense of humor someone who can make me laugh um, someone who like will like be super playful and also like laugh at my jokes even if they're not funny or just be like really really like that one, that one was just yeah like and someone who will also put me in my place too like if I really feel a certain way or um, I want something certain to happen that they would just like be like look that's not gonna happen like just someone who's gonna be reasonable with me or just be like just pray about it things like that um, I don't know. I could go on about that, but I'm not going to. One that people ask me just because I'm in college and, th and things like that is, have you cheated on an exam? Um, yes, I have. And I don't feel proud of saying that, but let me just tell you how I cheated. My best friend um, in, from who I met in school, her and I are on the same, like, um, we're English majors and we're writers. And we were in a linguistics class and we decided to take our exam together because it was an online class. Um, we took it together. We searched up, like, two things I think but we really just used each other for the exam and it was an open notes thing so we used our notes and just use each other and like discuss things if we we're like no I think it's this one I'm just, oh no 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 but 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 look look at this in the notes like we just kind of used each other um our teacher did catch us and she is an amazing professor we had her this semester too um she gave us like a just like a warning like don't do it again um 
like normally like this is something like that you would have to report being in college um, because it was a college class we cheated on the exam but she didn't um, and she really loves us which is like awesome but um, she did put us in our place so <laughs> it, we sent her an apology letter and we're not gonna do that again but it was nice to like use each other to um because we work really well with each other we're like a really good team so it's nice to use each other for work but um we just have to know when it's appropriate <laughs> someone asked me what my favorite candle scent is and my favorite candle scent is probably strawberry pound cake uh the bath and body works one that's just like my favorite everything i have the body wash i have the perfume i have the lotion um i have the candle like i just love that scent and it's, it like matches with the aesthetic in my room too like the like pinks and everything Okay. <laughs> Someone said, would you rather have an American accent or a British accent? I'd rather have a British accent. I think it's like so dainty and um, wonderful. But honestly, I'd, I'd want to have like an Australian accent, if anything. Australian would be the best accent. I would love having an Australian accent. I, also, I know I can't do it very well. So if you guys are going to laugh at me, you can. I, I can't do an Australian accent very well. <laughs> I got asked this question like three times. It said, do you wear makeup every day? I do not. I actually rarely ever wear makeup. Um, my cousins like to make fun of me and like call me a pick me girl because I say this, but I don't like makeup. Like, I just don't like it. And they're always like, pick me, you're a pick me girl and all this stuff. And they also just like call me that because I'm like, I don't like being picked. It makes me uncomfortable because like and attention makes me so nervous. So they'll always call me a pick me girl for that. But I'm, I'm not, okay? I'm not a pick me girl. Apparently pick me girls say that too. They're like, I'm not a pick me girl. So I can't win. I'll wear it once in a while when I'm just like, whoa, like I need something on my face. Like I'm not wearing anything right now, but I'm okay <laughs> with it. <laughs> Cause it's been a rough day. Um, what is the last thing that made me cry? I think you guys can figure that one out. <laughs> what profession do you hate the most? Uh, prostitutes. <laughs> That's not even a profession, but I don't hate them. I just like, why would someone like those guys who like take or guys or girls? Because you can have guy prostitutes too. But the people who take advantage of those people are sick. Um, have I done any cosmetic surgery? I don't know why I got asked this one. Um, but I think maybe I actually do, and it's because you guys. I don't know, some of you viewers like notice my lips are kind of strange. Um, I have something called Van der Wood syndrome, so I have like pits in my lips and stuff like that. Um, I have had one cosmetic surgery to fix it, but it wasn't just like, ooh, I wanna get my lips done. Like it was like I needed it. Um, I'm supposed to get another one at some point if insurance can cover it. And I've also had surgery on my nose when it was broken, um, and that's like considered cosmetic surgery, um, but that was because it was broken. So I have not had any like cosmetic surgery where I was like, I want this. I'd really like Kybella or like liposuction or like a tummy tuck. That would be freaking awesome. But um, I don't think I'll do that. I think I'd just like rather be me. Would you consider yourself uh, romantic? No, <laughs> um, I wouldn't. I don't know why. Like I, I've, I feel like I'm the same. Um, like, rom I like when people do romantic things for me, but, like, I don't know if I'd consider myself romantic. I think I'm just kind of, like, this is me. Like, or I'm, like, oh, I'm thinking about you, so I'm going to do this for you. Or something like that. Or, like, hey, I've been thinking about you. I'd love to, like, like FaceTime soon. Or, like, hey, I've been thinking about you. I want to get together soon. Like, stuff like that. But, like, I've never, like, I'm going to send flowers to them. And, um, I don't know. I, I, I wouldn't know if, I don't think I'd consider myself romantic, but I've also not been in like a really serious relationship to know if I am. So that's really difficult. Um, uh, this one, I literally was asked by like five people. Um, it's kind of a strange one, but someone said, who's like your girl crush? Um, honestly, I would say my girl crush is probably, this is such a weird one and I've gotten made fun of it before, but I think it's Reese Witherspoon. Like, Everyone talks about, like, I love Jennifer Aniston so much. Like, I'm a friend's gal, and I just really love her, and I think she's a really awesome actress um, and person. But um, probably Reese Witherspoon, I'm like, she doesn't age either. Like, does anyone notice that? Like, it's crazy. Um, but I also think I also think Taylor Swift, too. But I'm just, like, a Swifty, and I love that she can write so well. Um I'm very much so straight, but um, that's those are probably my two girl crushes. Um, I was asked if I swear. I do not swear. I don't feel the need to. Um, I 
I don't know. I just have other kind of vocabulary, and I also am a Christian, obviously, in my faith, and I try really hard to stay away from anything that could just, like, lead me in the wrong path or something I could get used to, and I try to push that away. Um, I'm not, like, I've, I've said things before, yeah, like, for sure, but um, it's definitely, like, I'm not, like, perfect, but um, I hardly, 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 like, I probably have said, like, two swear words this whole year, um, maybe like three, but uh, I really don't swear, so. Someone asked what my favorite song is. Um, this is tough. For some reason, I really love Give Me Love by Ed Sheeran. That's just like a timeless song for me. Like you can play that for me like any day and I'll just like get into it. I'm like, yeah, like it's just really powerful and good. I don't know if I'd consider that my favorite song, but it's just like a song that like I could listen to all the time as well as Wonderwall. I could listen to Wonderwall whenever as well. I love that song. Um, I really like Dear John by Taylor Swift. That's just like such a power move. Um, that's a really, really good one. I like her all too well, 10 minute version too. That's amazing. I like just Taylor Swift. I don't know if I can pick just one song that is like my favorite. Those are just like a few. And I'm probably gonna like edit this later and be like, oh my gosh, I have like so many more. Can you curl your tongue? Like that? I don't know, is that what they mean? Can I curl my tongue? I just I just did that. I don't know, bro. Um, that's probably where I'm gonna cut it off for now. Um, I'll like answer more of these questions throughout because I do have quite a few questions. Um, those are just a few of them that I thought I'd answer for this video since I'm trying to like fill up time. Um, although I probably have like so much content now because I did that whole weird speech and now I'm doing this, so um yeah, that's that's gonna be all though. Um, so I'll answer these questions like, like throughout December though, because some of them are like Christmas related questions. So yeah, that's it.